I'm still at Geneva Airport. It's now 12 hours since I arrived here. I've not been allowed to leave and the police have told me that they've actually decided they're not going to allow me to enter Geneva. As you can see, I'm not really in a detention facility or anything like that. I'm just sitting in the normal part of the airport. That's how the, the Swiss authorities have actually been with me. They've got absolutely no problems. They've allowed me to just walk around. I've had some snacks, some coffee, and uh, they've reassured me that there's absolutely no issue with me visiting Switzerland. However, the French government has been behind this, and what they've done is they've contacted their counterparts in the whichever ministry, and they've specifically said to prevent me from entering um, Switzerland. Well, what that does is obviously it, it, it obstructs my ability to attend the international conference where I was due to give a speech at the United Nations headquarters. It's quite ironic because uh, today is the also the same day that we are uh, announcing the, the, the evolution and upgrade of Cage's mission and Cage's brand. So we are fully going international. Uh, it's a transition that we've been making as an organization for the, for the last two, three years. And Alhamdulillah, we've now reached a point where we're very much settled in this next phase of, of Cage's work. It will be as Cage International. At the speech that I was going to deliver, I was going to highlight some of these themes. How through the theme of neo-colonialism, peace, security and human rights, I was going to highlight how the US government, the UK government, the French government, have been active participants in the various colonial endeavors that are active today. They themselves are maintaining some colonies. Fr France is maintaining a number of colonies around the world. Um, and, and they're providing support to the settler colonial state of Israel. I was going to highlight that and highlight the occupation in Kashmir and how the colonial powers of today's time and, and, and in the past are the, are the very countries that are providing support to occupation and colonialism that is active today. So that didn't happen, but it's an opportunity for me to encourage everybody. Please visit our website. You will see it's, got a, it's been completely revamped and it will, inshallah, introduce you to the new phase of Cage's work. We have realized how the oppression that is being faced by the Ummah and persecuted communities and those facing injustices is just multiplying everywhere. And what we need is to strengthen efforts such as CAGE so that we can advocate for those people who are vulnerable, who need to be defended, and we can speak out against the oppressors wherever they are. I thank you all for the support that you give us. I thank you for your goodwill, for your donations, for your skills, for your efforts. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala reward you all. Please continue to support. And as for this sort of obstacle that we, we, we're facing here, it, it's nothing. It's a little bit annoying, a bit tiring, but to be honest, it's, it's nothing. Forget about the obstacles that these governments are putting here. We can overcome them easily. Keep in your mind the Palestinian people and their struggle. Continue to pray for them, inshallah continue to support every organized effort that is assisting them. Jazakumullah khairan. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.